here we've got a really interesting old transformateur that came in the last few days. We've loosened the strap already and we're going to open this panel. It's really interesting why they've done this. This is your LV. Cross lane bushings. Split balls. CBA in. I like the radiators, they're quite cool. And the other side radiator. And I'll have a look at the bushings on the other side, the HV bushings. They sit in this box here, the junction box. And we got underslung HV bushings on this device here. The cables are fixed. And the nameplate, I hope I get some details on this. ASEA, Asia. of the details as well. Old drain valve. I think we have one of these connectors, they're quite handy, they're actually sewer connectors. Joining two cables together. Yeah, I'll sell that one of those. I sell both of them actually. Bad idea because this thing will go to the scrapyard, unfortunately. Not sure if that's for a temperature gauge you can put in there as optional. Probably is, and here, all level gauge. It's just amazing how they make these things. Yeah, so, tip change, we bolted down, I think. Pretty sure you need to pull the thing and then click it to a different position. That will be the breather, breather vent of the device. So all by itself it's quite a cool transformer. Not sure where it came from but it's uh, been around for many years. Old Long and Crawford stuff and this is an uh, old Hazelmeyer units, oh, nameplate. Nameplate from a 500 kVA, this is blown up. Cable failed. Cable failed and it's uh, carbonized itself. And some old Long and Crawford switch gear. It's just uh, going to scrap up when it's time to get it uh, they're all taken out. Old J2s. Norman Spencer Road, don't know where that is, from the city. We've got a normal Hazelmeyer unit. It's spare, it's been taken out somewhere for uh, automation. So this is a Magnifix side label here. Just going to do an installation test on this uh, transformer. Before you test, check your leads. Connect them both to the same point so you know the leads making contact in the meter. And then do the test. Will be a 5 kV test. Delta winding. Start the test. The readings will get out of the thing. Holding 5kV at the moment. 14 megs low-ish.
but imagine this transformator is probably 60 years old. So the palm is in Delta, so it's important that the bushings have been cleaned. Uh, that wire connection and the other wire is floating, so uh, it's not touching anything. I'll go for about a minute and then uh, we're just making 20 mega ohms. It's a bit low. Um, I'll do secondary tests as well at 500 volts. So I'll make that up to about say 22, 22.8. 22.6 mega. Oh, fuck. Okay, one mega ohm. This is 500 volt test. It doesn't even make 500 volts. Transformer could have a fault in it. I connected to one of the phases, so it's a star here, but uh, there's no link on the neutral in the earth. Again, dirty bushings leakage and stuff so quick 500 volt test and uh, do that for about a minute and that's about uh, 1.1 just do continuity I can only access the B and the C phase so with card advice make good contact well, as best as I can with a bit of uh, wire strands and uh, about 19.6 ohms, so I would guess it's between 50 and 100 kVA this device. This is the only phase which gives me some readings, it's a yellow phase, 441. Just adducted it between uh, the yellow phase and here. Try the other ones one more time. Good old Asia. I will go to the scrapper, unfortunately. It's pity because it's a really cool transformer. The way they make these fins. What happened? I saw the pre-removal photo. This wire is broken off in the wind over the years, so these wires are pretty flexible. So you can see if they are uh, sitting in there for 30, 40, 50 years, they could break off, which happens, unfortunately. So, yeah. That's the problem with this uh, beautiful device. <laughs> 